Cruz, it's your girl Avi Late Night back again for another video and today's video is a story time. You know how it goes when your life is a joke and you need to tell people for views? Yeah, that's me right now. So I'm just gonna jump right into the story because it gets really, really messed up. If you didn't already know, I'm a 22 year old college kid, yada yada yada, I'm in college. But I go to one of the top HBCUs in the nation. This is like the Harvard and the Yale of HBCUs. I know what you're thinking. It's the illustrious Howard University. Now, you would think with Howard being the Howard University, the place of nothing but professionalism and excellence, right? <laughs> Wrong. It's not. And thus begins my story. Every now and again, Howard University does free HIV and STD checks, which is lit because, you know, condoms suck. And you need a ticket before you ride the ride, kids. Plus, every now and again, your body just slightly malfunctions. You go on WebMD and bam, next thing you know, you either have Black River Fever or you got hepatitis. So it was about that time that I did my checkup. It was a free test and I figured, why not? We begin the test and it loosely goes a little something like this. Have you ever been tested before? Oh, yes, ma'am. This ain't my first rodeo. Okay, so stick this swab in and stick it in it blood. For about Don't you need blood for this? Seconds. What is she talking about? You know, I'll just stick it in my mouth. Okay, come back in 30 minutes and we'll let you know where you stand. So I got some time to kill. I go over to the cafeteria, I grab me some food, I go set up my laptop and I get lost in YouTube videos and I sit there for a little too long. I then remembered, I gotta get back to this lady. So I pack up and leave. Hey, can I still get the results to my STD check? What's your last name? Late night, late night, late. Oh, here it is. Now I could tell by her gaze and the way she looked from her paper to me, Something was seriously wrong. My hands were shaking. I started sweating real bad. And I could tell she knew I was going to shit my pants. I don't know how to tell you this, but you got chlamydia, sis. I'm so sorry. My whole world came crashing down when she said, but I'm just thinking for how long? When did this happen? How did this happen? What am I gonna tell my parents? I have black parents, oh my God. This is it, the day I died, this is it. Baby, baby, you you look like you sweating. Are you, are you okay? Are, are you okay? Babe, babe, baby. Oh, oh, Jesus, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. So I say thank you. And as I'm getting ready to leave, a friend passes by the STD check, which was in the middle of the student center. So seeing people I knew was bound to happen. Wait, what's your full name? <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> le, 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 le. Late night. Oh, I'm so sorry. I grabbed the wrong file. I thought I only had one late night last name, but apparently there was two and Adriana late night is the one who has chlamydia. I'm, I'm so sorry for the mix up. This, this is completely my fault. Moral to the story, always wear your condom kids because you could be like Adriana. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a huge thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button in the corner and turn on those post notifications so you make sure you don't miss anything. Find me on my social medias at AV Late Night on both Instagram and Twitter. It means everything to me. You guys stay tight and I'll see you another late night. Bye. Did you like